interesting problem of friction which state that a person wants to cross a trench using a boat and the length of the boat is 3 meter and the weight or the mass of this person is 50 kilogram and the person starts walking from point A towards point B and the question is that whether the person will be able to cross the complete trench because the one end of the trench is resting on a uh, on an inclined surface and as the person will come towards this point there will be a sliding force or the force towards this direction will increase and there may be a chance that if the frictional grip is not such strong the board A and B will go inside the this trench that means what will happen when the person will move in this direction when the person will reach here or somewhere here that may be possible that it will go in this way that means the person will not be able to cross the trench so the question is that that up to what distance he can move safely or that up to what distance he can move so that this point will remain in the equilibrium condition and the coefficient of friction between this point and this point is given as 0.5 here instead of giving this angle the slope is given so we know that using this slope we can calculate the angle and how we can calculate this angle that if I will make a triangle where this is 3 this is 4 and suppose this is my theta so I know that my 10 theta will be 3 by 4 and when I will put this theta is equal to 10 inverse 3 by 4 which is basically coming out 36 degree 36.87 degree so please keep it in mind that sometimes the angle will not be given to you instead of angle the slope will be given now what I need to do I first I have to make the free body diagram of this board where I am having number of forces in here you can see that this is the free body diagram of my board this is point A this is point B and I have to understand that what would be the direction of friction at these two end so see here that if the person is walking toward this side and suddenly if the, the forces are such that the, uh, the board will start sliding so in which direction the board will move the board will move in this way that means the end B will try to move in this direction that means the friction between the end B and the ground will act in up upward direction similarly when this end will try to move in this way this A will try to move in this direction that means the coefficient of uh, uh, the frictional force between the end A and ground will act in this direction so here I am showing the all the forces here you can see that this is the weight of the person and I am assuming, in the, assuming that the person can move up to a distance D this is the weight of the board which is 25 g and the position of this point will be half of the length of the board that is given 3 so this will be 1.5 meter from point A now there will be reaction in the upward direction and the frictional force which will be acting towards right because I have explained that the A will try to move in this direction so the friction will act in the opposite direction similarly in point B the point B is resting on an inclined surface so the reaction will be normal to the surface that means that this angle will be 90 degree irrespective of this contact point the reaction always act perpendicular to the surface so this is my 90 degree so this is my normal reaction and as this is the direction of the friction which is F2 and which will be equal to mu RB similarly F1 will be mu RA where mu is given as 0.5 now as I am having the free body diagram and I know that now I have to write the equation for the equilibrium that means I have the equation for the horizontal force balance, vertical force balance as well as the moment balance and in this case I have choice to consider moment at any point maybe at here, 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 here or anywhere but what I will do I will consider the moment at point A so that I, or at point B so that I will calculate this distance so let's see let's first make the horizontal force balance in this case there are F1 is one horizontal force horizontal component of this F2 as well as horizontal component of this RB will also contribute in the horizontal forces so this is the horizontal force F1 F2 cos because this is 36.87 so horizontal component of this will also be with this angle similarly this is the 
90 minus this value so the it will be in the sign form so this is my first equation when i will write the vertical force balance r is acting in the upward direction vertical component of these two force will also come as well as the forces which is going acting in the downward side so this is my second equation which is having a value ra plus rb cos 36.87 plus f2 sin 36.87 these two reactions which are going to be balanced by a force of 75g because this is 50g and this is 25g so addition of these two forces will be basically 75g so now i have these two equation when i will solve these two equation i will get a relation between ra and rb as well as the value of ra and rb now the moment equation i am going to take moment at point b you can take moment at any point but i am taking moment at point b so that effect of this two force as well as this f1 force will not in the picture and there will be the force Which is which are going to contribute will be this the weight of the person the weight of the uh, board as well as the reaction at point A. So this is the equation for the moment balance and this is my third equation. Now I know that the forces the moment because of the 50 g will be counterclockwise. Similarly for 25 g it is counterclockwise. And if I am putting the counterclockwise as negative sign, these are the two with the negative sign. Suppose and the R A is the force acting in this direction. Uh, and i want to take the moment at this point so the essence of the moment will be clockwise if you are interested to find this reaction you can see my other videos and then when i am solving these two equation i am getting that rb is coming out 1.167 ra and ra is uh, absolute ra value is coming out 328.41 newton when i will put this value in the moment equation i am getting an answer that the d will be 1.78 meter Uh, all the we i request all the viewer that i have solved the problem but sometime it may be possible that i made some calculation mistake so you also solve the problem by your hand and verify these answers but philosophy of the problem will not change the equations will remain the same only there may be difference in the calculation so you are requested to cross check the equations so now my answer is 1.78 meter that means the person the total length is 3 meter that this is the center which is at the 1.5 meter and the person will be able to walk up to a distance 1.78 meter that means when he will reach somewhere here the boat will slide and he will not be able to cross the complete range thank you